The second most important choice is what marker do you want to run? But before we can answer that question, we have one more big question to answer. And that is, what is your play style? Or in other words, what play style do you want to become? Uh, I've tried the pistols, I've tried the riot shield, I've tried the full sniper, and now I'm just running straight assaulter up to the 50 every single game. So let's look at the best choices for each. Snipers, and I'm talking real bolt action sniper players, not the marksman rifle. I got a scope on my EMF that I do now sometimes. I'm talking. SAR-12, Hammer-7, Scout, uh, four, six, eight bolt action, real bolt action markers. Uh, when you're looking at snipers, there's one clear choice and that's gotta be the SAR-12. It's the most consistent FPS swings out of all of the markers on the market, bolt action or non-bolt action. And when shooting sniper at long range, the difference in the FPS per shot is gonna make a huge difference because if you shoot one shot and it's 280 and you're you're aiming at the same position just a little bit higher and you take that shot and it's only 272 you're hitting way below than where you were before so you don't want to miss those shots you want to be as consistent with your feet per section feet per second shot for shot as you can be the hammer seven and scout are okay but they're not as consistent uh the four six eight I I wouldn't touch it. Uh, I owned one for a little while and I sold it. It's uh, the FPS swings on it are huge. Sometimes they're like 12 plus or minus. Uh, so the SAR Pros best FPS per shot. It's like 277, 277, 276, 277. It's so consistent. It's crazy. Um, it's the only marker on the market that can use a 20 inch nemesis barrel properly everything else you're just getting a bunch of drag on your first strikes as it's going down the barrel it, they don't put out enough force like the bolt action sar uh, and it's super easy to take apart to clean it it's amazing uh, the cons of it it's way more expensive than most other brands um, and it is a pretty steep learning curve on how to use it and maintain it properly but the end results, as you've seen from a lot of my videos, are amazing. Uh, the Hammer 7 Pros, there's a lot of customizations you can do to it. A lot of custom builds, a lot of 3D prints, a lot of wood bodies made. It's got a decent mag variety. You can use all the Hammer 7 mags. People have 3D printed those mags now. You can switch up the mag well, use die dam or CF20s if you really wanted to. Uh, the cons of that one, it's not as consistent FPS. I think the plus or minus is between five and seven every shot, and it'll go up and down five to seven feet per second, which is tough. But as we've seen with players like the Hitman or the Hidden Hedgehog, you could make it work and you could be amazing out there. You just got to put in the practice to learn the marker. Um, the other big con with the Hammer 7 is it's not in production. So if you are looking for replacement parts, you are going to have to find them on other used markers. You're going to have to just butcher other markers to keep yours going, which eventually we're going to run out of parts for. The Scout Pros, you can use 215 mags. Amazing. Their V2 mags are awesome. Like they even made an adapter to use them on the SAR-12 if you wanted to shoot round ball for some reason. Um, it's basically a polished Hammer 7. Uh, they just fixed up the internals, polished it off, made it run a little bit better. But the cons of it, it's an expensive Hammer 7. It's the exact same system. Uh, it's also worse FPS consistency. It's not as great. The 468, uh, again, not great. Uh, I Apparently the CCM, the M40, and the SSR, I think it's called, those one, that's apparently awesome as long as you're using HPA and not the CO2. The CO2 has huge, huge, huge gaps up and down. Uh, but in, to recap everything, if you want a proper sniper build, you need to either get a SAR-12 and learn it, take your time to learn it, save up to get that one, or if you're gonna go with a little bit cheaper option because there's more customizations that you wanna do, get the Hammer 7 and just really put in the time to learn it and perfect your craft. Sniping is not for everyone. I especially do not recommend bolt action sniping for new players. Pick up something first, 
learn how the first strikes fly and how to arc them and then move on to this otherwise you're going to be disappointed but if you're not picking a SAR-12 for uh, your sniper class I don't know what you're doing because everything else is just second best.